Welcome to Essentials of Pharmacology. Uh, this is a course I think you're really going to enjoy. I, I primarily put this course together for complementary health practitioners uh, I, because this course really deals with the essentials of what someone doing nutritional medicine consulting. You know, many of the patients that you see are going to be on medications and it's very important to understand what those medications are doing, what are the key potential side effects, what drug nutrient interactions are there. So this is a course that really is essentials of pharmacology that's really aimed at someone who's going to be doing nutritional medicine uh, counseling with the patient, lifestyle medicine coaching, uh, having uh, some background in what uh, pharmaceuticals can do is absolutely critical on your intake questionnaire you're going to be asking people what medications are you on and you know if you don't know what those things are what they do to the body uh, and what potential side effects are the most critical ones for the different classes of drugs then you know you're really to a large degree in the dark so we'll examine the reasons why this is so important as we start this program so why study pharmacology at all a lot of people say I'm not going to be prescribing drugs uh, that's not what I do I'm a natural healer but the reason why it's important to understand it is because many of the patients or clients that you see are on medications. And so you should really know the effect of each drug, uh, the effect that it's having on the patient's physiology before you make any dietary exercise or supplementation recommendations. You know, for instance, uh, if a person is doing aerobic exercise and they're on a beta blocker drug, then you have to change the target heart rate zone. You have to adjust it down by 10% because the beta blocker is having this att uh, attenuation effect on how the heart is responding to adrenaline and uh, norepinephrine. So there are some things that are just mandatory to know. And you should also be on the lookout for drug side effects that are masquerading sometimes as the primary health condition. The person comes to you and they have ringing in their ears, like tinnitus. It could be just from the use of aspirin. Or the person suddenly starts to develop aches and pains and back pain and you're looking for problems in that area and recently you find out they just started on a statin drug where anywhere from 10 to 30 percent of people can end up with myalgic pain from being on a statin drug. These are things that you should know and sometimes the patient's physician will actually miss these things and so the healthcare system needs a second set of eyes on all of this. So there are really, really eight important drug supplement considerations that must be factored in to the dietary exercise and supplementation recommendations uh, that you are going to recommend. So the eight key drug uh, supplement rec considerations really are these. To appreciate that, some drugs can do things that supplements cannot do. There are drugs that are muscle relaxants, you know, like methylcarbamol, like you would see in, say, robaxisol or robaxacet. And there really aren't any supplements that can do that. There's, some drugs can do things that supplements can't do. By the same token, some supplements can do things that drugs cannot do, uh, like rebuild cartilage, uh, increase the synthesis of acetylcholine in the brain. There are no drugs yet that can do that, but there are supplements that have been shown to do it. Some supplements work synergistically with a particular drug, which then allows the physician to reduce the drug dosage where the drug is known to produce adverse side effects. So, for instance, we know that taking acetaminophen at certain chronic doses can, is the leading cause of, uh, of uh, drug-induced liver failure in the United States, or at least acetaminophen is, in at least 50% of the cases the person's using it in just the usual doses. But if you could decrease the person's reliance on this acetaminophen by giving them other things that naturally reduce inflammation and pain so they don't need as much of a dosage, then you're helping to mitigate uh, drug side effects. Number four, supplements can potentiate the effects of drugs producing serious adverse effects. So in other words, sometimes a drug-nutrient interaction is, is a serious one whereby the drug is already doing a particular thing and then you give the person a supplement that also uh, amplifies the same effect and if it's an co anticoagulant drug and, an anti and a supplement that also has powerful anticoagulant properties, you end up increasing the risk of an internal bleeding disorder or if it's a drug that's increasing the serotonin levels in the brain and you give the person supplements that increase serotonin levels further, the person can go into life-threatening <coughs> serotonin syndrome. So some supplements can potentiate the effects of drugs 
producing serious side effects. And this is why this is a, a course that's really mandatory for anyone that's going to get into the nutritional and lifestyle uh, uh, counseling area. Now, some supplements also reduce the efficacy of a drug by stimulating its detoxification. A woman on a birth control pill who feels a little depressed decides she wants to take some St. John's Wort. Is speeding up the rate at which her liver detoxifies the birth control pill, and there's a greater chance that she's actually going to get.